up, wake up, sleep your head, roll out of bed, make sure you're fed, cause it's time for Camp Up Street! Yeah! Doesn't matter if you're red, pink, or blue, no imposters here, just come as you, cause we're all friends. Yeah! At Camp Up Street! Last summer it sure didn't go as planned So we'll double the fun and warm up the band Cause it's time for Camp Up Street Yeah Come on Here we go Let me tell you It's cabin calls and up street halls Water fights and bugle calls Golden squirrels and sports contests Toilet towers, yeah who's the best? It's small group leaders and hot dog eaters And golden acorns and best friend leaders Learn and grow more than you know Learn how to follow and his love will show It's gonna be fun Yeah it is Don't miss a time What's up campers? It's a brand new week at Camp Upstreet and I am so excited for it. My name is Julianne and I'm one of your Camp Upstreet counselors. This entire summer we're learning about how to follow Jesus. We have had some awesome Sundays already and today is no exception. Also, each week we give you challenges to complete. Last week we asked you to turn your cabin name into Morse code. We had so much fun looking at all the photos and videos you sent in. And don't forget to fill out the challenge form on the Oasis website so we can send you some tuck in the mail. I can't wait to find out what this week's challenge is going to be. So each week we check in with our friend Caleb who has been spending his summer at camp. Caleb loves to show us what he's been up to, so let's check this out. What's up, family? It is another day in this beautiful thing we call camp life. Huh, why did I motion to my face? Camp is over here. <laughs> Guys, I am Caleb from that show with that guy, you already know, and I have found some more good, time out, unforgettable things you need to do while you're at camp, because of course I did. That's what I do. You see, no camp memory, no camp experience, no camp life is complete without taking a ride on the zip line, hurtling through the air at dozens of miles an hour, arms flailing, legs wiggling, whilst tethered to a sturdy, trusty harness. This is required by law, camp law. I don't make, I don't make the rules, I just follow them. <laughs> but I get it, you know, we all love the thrills of camp life. We all love the thrills, but heights? Whew. Some of us, well, maybe that's just a big no. But this week, we're gonna start with something you shouldn't do. For real, brothers and sisters, hear me when I say, if your camp has a zip line, you shouldn't not do it. <laughs> See what I did there? Challenge yourself. Guys, reach into those guts, <laughs> pull them to the surface, and say, I can do it! Because what you shouldn't do, is watch other people do the zip line. So this thing is a definite should do at camp. Like, let's let's give it a shot, yeah? Here we go, on three, on three. One, two. Camp on three! That was a thrill ride. Thrill, thrill ride, I can't even talk. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was like flying, I'm shaking, that was like flying through an airplane, you know? Like with no ceiling. Whew. So, all I say, zip line, good. Mucho bueno, believe it, you gotta try it. See you next week, friends. Peace! Wow, that was awesome. Caleb sure does look like he's having the time of his life out of camp. Well campers, it's time to get on your feet because we are going to sing and dance along with our camp counselors to our summer song. Let's go. You make the dark 
darkness run and hide you bring the broken back to life only you can only you can you set me free from every chain you fill my heart with songs of praise only you can only you can jesus you're the said, come, follow me, Matthew 419. Hey campers, all summer long, we're talking about how to follow Jesus, how to do what he did and say what he said and become more like him. And today we're gonna talk about one of the most famous followers of Jesus. His name was Paul. Well, actually he was called Saul, but You'll see what I mean. Check this out. This is the story of a man we read about in the Bible. Maybe some of you have heard of this man, Paul. If not, let me tell you a couple highlights about him. Paul loved Jesus. He was thrown in jail for telling people about Jesus. Paul started churches all over the place so people could know about Jesus. He even wrote at least 13 books in the Bible. But today, I'm going to tell you about how Paul's story started. We're going to go back to the beginning. Because before Paul followed Jesus, he went by a different name. He was known as Saul. See, Saul was one of the guys who had heard about Jesus. He knew what he had done but he didn't follow Jesus. In fact, he didn't like anyone who did. Saul was a powerful guy, and he made it his life's mission to get rid of anyone who followed Jesus. Saul threw Jesus' followers in jail 
it's safe to say that Saul was a bully to anyone who believed in Jesus, and he had the power to do whatever he wanted. One day, Saul and some guys were on their way to another city to throw the Jesus followers who lived in that city in jail. Men and women, moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, they would be put in prison just because they believed in Jesus and wanted to live the way Jesus taught. Saul was heading down the road when suddenly, suddenly there was a bright light, bright as the sun, so bright that no one could see. It was blinding. Saul fell to the ground, and a voice from the light said, Saul, Saul, why are you against me? Saul said, Who are you, Lord? He had no idea what was happening. The voice answered from the light, I am Jesus, who you are against. Now get up and go into the city, and you'll be told what to do. And then the light and voice disappeared. The men traveling with Saul stood there speechless. They heard the sound, but they didn't see anyone. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. Saul was blind. He was blind for three days. But during those three days, something happened. Saul realized who Jesus was, and it changed him. Saul decided to follow Jesus. Then Saul's vision came back, and when it did, he saw everything differently. Deciding to follow Jesus changed Saul. And because he was so different than he was before, he decided to go by the name Paul. Jesus had changed him forever. Paul treated people differently. From that day forward, Paul told everyone he could about Jesus. And remember, Paul wrote many books in the Bible that tell us how we can follow Jesus because he wanted you and me to know that following Jesus can change how you live and how you treat others. What a crazy true story. Paul went from putting Jesus followers into jail to becoming maybe one of the most famous Jesus followers of all time. And I mean, Paul went on to write a lot of the New Testament. When he met Jesus, Paul's life completely changed. So here's the thing, when we choose to follow Jesus, your life changes in the best possible way. When you follow Jesus, you make different choices, better choices. What if we entered the new school year different from last year? We could be kinder like Jesus. We could be more patient. We could listen and help others just like Jesus did. We could put others first and think about making wise choices instead of the choices that everyone else is making. Just like Paul, when we follow Jesus, we should be different. So let's pray and thank God for how he changes us as we choose to follow Jesus this school year. So, dear God, Thank you for changing Paul's life. Thank you for letting us see that following you means that we're changed in the best way possible. Help us to follow you and start the school year right in a couple of weeks. We love you, God. Amen. What a crazy story. From Saul to Paul, that was a complete 180 degree flip. Following Jesus made Paul different. And when we choose to follow Jesus, we become different. And that's a good thing. Make sure to check out this week's chapter in our Camp Upstreet guidebook. Well, campers, it's finally time to hear what our new challenge is this week. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one. Let's find out. Good morning, campers. This week, we are putting your hunting skills to the test with a scavenger hunt. In your summer box, you'll find the challenge sheet for week five, along with the scavenger hunt list. 
so find as many items as you can. We've sent some of our friends out on the hunt already, so let's see what they were able to find. Hey guys, it's Allison Kian here from Upstreet, and we are just about to do our scavenger hunt challenge. We're gonna try our best to find everything we can on the list. Ready? Go! A weed, a speckled rock, and a bright flower. And we found an orange spider and an ant. They're very small, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, and here's our something beautiful. And something growing. We hope you have fun. Bye. Bye. That looks so fun. Best of luck to all of you who head out this week on the hunt. And don't forget, once you finish a challenge, head over to the Oasis website to fill out the challenge form so that we can send you some tuck in the mail. That's Camp Lingo for a special treat. We also have some birthdays to announce. This week we're saying a big happy birthday to Owen, Ariella, Kobe, Jarrett, Ali, Lucas, Nathaniel, Olivia, Isabel, and Annalise. We hope you guys have an awesome birthday. That's all for today, campers. Can't wait to see you all next week for another week of Camp Upstreet. Bye!